Welcome to GDs and this is Lupin season 1. Season starts with Lupin working at the Louvre as a janitor in order to check out the place for security as he is planning his heist for the queen's necklace. And in order to pull off this heist, he hires his loan sharks from whom he has borrowed money on the pretext of paying them back and making them millions. And with the offer so good, they agree to partner up and he explains the plan to them. On the day of the heist, the necklace is up for auction and Lupin goes in as a buyer while the rest of the crew get in as janitors. And as he bids for the necklace, the rest of the crew takes care of the security feed and dress up as guards. Lupin, bidding the highest, goes in to collect the necklace. But before completing the final payment, he just wants to have a look at the necklace and the curator agrees and takes it out of the safe. And as he looks at the necklace, the loan sharks attack them and steal the necklace and try to run. But before they could get away, they are caught. With the thieves being caught and taken to interrogation, Lupin is set free and the necklace is sent to the lab for analysis. But we find that he was able to switch the real necklace with a fake during the fight and hit the same and was able to get it out as a janitor. And we finally learn that he is a master burglar and all his personas created for the heist were fake, even borrowed the money from the loan sharks in order to lure them and it was all a part of his plan. We learn that his real name is Asan and when he was younger, his father used to be a driver for the Pellegrini family and the necklace belonged to them. In addition, it is revealed that his father was accused of stealing the same necklace years back by Hubert Pellegrini and he was sent to jail despite claiming his innocence. And when Asan went to meet his father in the prison, he learned that his father has committed suicide. In addition, he also left a suicide note confessing to his crime but the necklace was never recovered and the last birthday gift which his father left for him was a book on Lupin, the gentleman burglar. So when he found out that the same necklace had returned back to the Pellegrini family and they reassembled it by getting various pieces of it from different corners of the world and it was up for auction, he knew that he had to steal the same. In addition, we also learn that Asan is now separated from his wife Claire and they are having a son whom he gives the same book which he received from his father. Asan, having the necklace with him, gets to know that the necklace was never taken apart. So the story that the Pellegrini family assembled it was false and now he thinks the necklace was never stolen and he wants to know the truth about his father as he now believes his father never stole it. So in order to know more, he decides to meet Juliet Pellegrini, daughter of Hubert Pellegrini and sends her a stone from the necklace and asks her to meet. She shows up for the meeting but the meeting is being surveilled by the police. She was able to recognize Asan and lets him know that the necklace was never taken apart and the story was pushed in order to create a buzz so that it attracts more buyer. And in fact, his father bought the necklace 5 years back from a South African smuggler. Asan is not sure about her story but before he could be captured, he was able to make his way out of there by making the authority chase false leads. After meeting her, Asan was curious and goes back to his father's suicide letter. And going through it now, he finds a clue in it in which he is leading him to a man inside the prison. And in order to get to him, he goes inside the prison by switching places with an inmate. Asan was able to reach to the man his father mentioned in his letter who in turn informed him that his father left a book behind and when Asan went through the book, he was able to find a hidden message left from his father which stated that he is innocent and that Anna Pellegrini framed him. Having the information he came for, Asan breaks out of the prison by convincing everyone he is dead as he hanged himself but in fact it was all a ruse in order to get out of the prison. Knowing that it was Anna Pellegrini, wife of Hubert Pellegrini, who framed his father, he went to see her. Anna lets Asan know that she liked his father and was trying to help him out and indeed she is the one who convinced his father to sign the confession despite him claiming his innocence. And she did so as Inspector Dumont promised her that if he will sign a confession, he will be able to get him a lighter sentence and back to his son, 
she lets asan know that she was only trying to help his father out but she was misled and signing the confession proved to be the final nail in his coffin as because of his confession the judge gave him the maximum punishment and not the minimum because of which he took his own life anna lets asan know that she indeed tried to look after him and she was the one who became his secret donor and provided him a good education asan knowing that anna was just a pawn in a plan now looks into inspector dumont for answers and in order to know the truth Asan kidnaps Dumont from the city hall and he interrogates him in order to break him Asan uses various techniques showing him his financial dealings with known criminals threatening him with deep fakes also showing him surveillance of his family in his house and in the process Asan mistakenly slips his identity but Dumont despite being threatened so much never slips from the story and lets him know that he did not frame his father and in fact he was actually guilty on the other hand dumont now being the commissioner and missing is being traced by the police and they are finally able to locate him but it was again an elaborate plan and he was not there it was just a decoy meanwhile asan getting nowhere with dumont lets him know that he is convinced for now that he did not frame his father and lets him go dumont is finally rescued by the police and he let the inspectors know that he is not aware who caught him and why they locked him up in the city hall dumont returns home and destroys all the surveillance equipment inside his house and then he calls hubert pellegrini letting him know that he knows who is involved with the robbery but asan was listening in the call and finally he knew it was hubert pellegrini who framed his father in fact we get to learn that it was hubert pellegrini who got the necklace appraised for a higher value before it being stolen and he was the one pulling all the strings in fact he suggested to dumont to ask his wife to get a confession from babaka diop in order to get a lighter sentence despite knowing the fact that if he signs a confession and does not return the necklace it will automatically result in a maximum punishment and in exchange for dumont services hubert pellegrini offered him a promotion and a fast track career asan now knowing the truth approaches dumont in a cafe and dumont knowing that asan heard his conversation lets him know that he will give him a name of a reporter who can help him take down hubert pellegrini and he directs asan towards an investigative reporter fabian asan approaches fabian who used to be a investigative journalist and with her stories she has taken down quite big names but when she went after pellegrini he destroyed her career and spread rumors about her making her sound crazy and because of which no one will hire her and now she has hit rock bottom asan was able to convince her that he has also been wrong by pellegrini and he wants the world to know how crooked he is fabian agrees to help him out and lets him know that she might have a smoking gun to go after pellegrini and in order to get it he must break in into her old office and get the evidence from the storage and the evidence was a video of him in 1996 of supplying weapons which were used in Kuala Lumpur in a terrorist attack in which french citizens were also killed asan using an alias tweets an ultimatum to hubert asking him to come out with the truth about the necklace else he would let the world know about Kuala Lumpur deal in 1996 fabian being excited and back in the game confronts hubert in a press conference which indeed gave her away later asan being disguised goes to a tv studio to give out proof against hubert being involved in weapon sale but with his influence hubert was able to get ahead of the story and he altered the video in the studio but before he could get to asan he was able to get away but fabian was not so lucky as one of hubert's men confronted her in her house and by the time asan could reach there she was already dead on the other hand inspectors were able to draw few sketches of those involved in the crimes but the commissioner dismissed all of them and want them to treat every case separately they are a bit suspicious of him but cannot investigate their own commissioner and one of the inspectors seeing the interview on tv was able to connect the dots and he always thought that all the crimes were committed by the same person and him not being believed by his colleague he goes out to investigate by himself whereas juliet 
Seeing the interview on TV lets her father know that she thinks that it is Asan who is trying to get to them. Having lost this round, Asan decides to take a break as he wants to go with his son for a break on his birthday and they also ask Claire to join them. We also get to learn that Asan and Claire know each other from school days and it is where they fell in love. But because of lifestyle of Asan, they finally broke up. And as they are on their way to celebrate Rahul's birthday, Asan is able to figure out that he is being followed by one of Hubert's men. Though he tries to lose him in the train, but he is not successful. And being in train with his family, he agrees to go with him in order to keep his family safe. But he was able to devise a plan and message the inspector looking into him with a description of his abductor. And at the station, he is surrounded by cops and arrested. Asan even planted a diamond from the stolen necklace on him. But because of his connection, he was able to get out of the custody within hours. And the inspectors are frustrated with Dumont because they didn't even get a chance to interrogate him. Asan is walking with his family on the pier as Raoul goes to look for treasure. Asan and Claire have an argument about what he is doing as she wants him to get out of this life. And as the season ends, we find Raoul is kidnapped by Hubert's men and the inspector looking into the robbery is finally able to locate Asan. Thanks for watching and if you liked it, please subscribe.